The talented man on your right, folks, that's the one with the gray hair. His name is Don Skoyan, has been my partner for 30 years. He's a very big part of what we do. He is very practical, knowledgeable, and a great teacher. The other pup, no hair, is Kevin Sopp. Came to camp at age 12. Been with me ever since. No one in Canada teaches hockey skills better than Kevin. Guaranteed. The skates that are on the market, or the rest of them. Well, one of the things I like the best about the Graf skate is their idea is to lock from the subtalar joint down, which allows your ankle to flex. Now, even though this is a high-end skate, you still have flexibility in the skate. It's not a cast. These guys' idea when they make a skate is allow the ankle to bend. But I see what you're saying about those skates. It's well now you're a big strong guy. Imagine if you take that skate and they make them pretty much the same at the junior and the youth level. If they put a cast on their foot and they do their skates right up to there, they've got no mobility in the ankle. Absolutely. They're out there skating around on ski boots with blades on them. And that's not what we need. I think people that go out and buy the manufacturer's top end skate for 75% of the people, they're wasting their money. You see on the skate that I've got on my foot, my bottom of my foot staying solid in the skate, and I'm allowed to flex forward. I can get my shoulder over the knee, over the center of the foot, which is key when you're skating, which is key in balance. Well, that's the problem I have with my skates then, because I have the other guys, and, when, and I just got a new pair, and my new pair, I can't do the top eyelets up all the way like I used to do in my old pair. So when I skate and I'm playing hockey, to get the ankle flex to bend like this when I'm skating, I have to undo the top eyelids. I can't do those top ones up, or like you say, I'm in a cast. So I have to have these ones undone so I can flex my ankles when I'm skating, and hopefully when these things break in, I'll be able to tie the top eyelid up and get a little bit more support. You know, we teach balance, and balance is your feet that far apart, not that far, that far. Do we have trouble getting kids from there to there because of bad skates? And the other deal is, we'll show you how to unlace the skate. You know that little gizmo at the end of the lace? It's called an aglet. You pull that off, life isn't worthwhile living, or hockey isn't worthwhile playing. We'll show you how to unlace the skate properly. Folks, the skate business. It scares me all the heck, quite honest with you. What has happened in the last 35 years, 40 years, but mainly what's happened in the last five years scares me. Uh, way, way back, um, the counter here in the side, okay, and that's where your main support is in the ankle area, was made out of pressed cardboard and it got wet and dry and wet and dry and finally went to pudding. And I got a, uh, a shoemaker, St. John's, Newfoundland, to bevel me out a couple of pieces of leather like that and so one inside the skate on each side and all of a sudden presto <laughs> i had kids who were who were like this and like this like this they had support i was a genius uh what they've done since then again i have to say has scared me all the all the heck but first of all before we get into that lacing and <clears throat> you know this little gizmo here on the top of your lace saves you hours and hours and hours of time and all kinds of very foul vocabulary, see? Now to unlace the skate, okay, all you do is take your thumb and press that out like that and pull that through straight. That eye will never come out, look. Just out like that, like that. Now if I don't do that, okay, look, I'll pull this thing, now it's gonna get caught and it's gonna come off. And when that comes off, putting skates on isn't worthwhile. Here's what I'm talking about. Brandon, watch this. Aglet, gone. Ha! A little later. Don, like all you parents, pays the price. Come on, Don. Come on, Don. Get it. <laughs> so just this very simple thing, turning it out. Now the problem is they've made the skates so stiff today I don't think that the kids can press that top eyelet, press it out. But anyways, more about that later on. We're going to show you what to look for when you buy a pair of skates. Now, <laughs> let's look at some of the ones on the market today. Uh, and I started way, way back with the Bauer skate. 
And this one's been on the market for a number of years and it's a good skate. It has more than adequate support in it. It'll outlast any hockey player as he's growing up and it'll do the job, more than do the job. But it is so stiff in the end, it's hard for the youngster to flex his foot. I have looked at 50 pair of skates, folks, and <clears throat> most of them, this size and smaller, have so much support that the youngster cannot flex his ankle. The youngster cannot feel the ice. He's locked, he's locked into a vice. And you can't teach kids how to skate. You can't get them in the right position unless they can flex their ankle and bend their knees, and most of them can. But this one here, I think it has the least support, but more than adequate support in the ankle area. And it cost on sale the other day, $59. Fit a skate. The only way to do it is to take out the insole, okay? Put the foot on it, and if there's a half inch in front, take them. They fit. If there's more than a half inch, in front of it, it's too big, too big. But that insole, get it back into the heel pocket, stick that up underneath, have him put his foot on it, and you can tell right away whether that skate is the right size or not. Guaranteed, it'll work. But I don't know what you're gonna do about very, very expensive kid skates. They're horrible, they have no feeling, no feeling no movement inside the boot. They're locked, locked tight, and you can't do that. We can't teach kids how to skate if they can't flex their ankle back and forth. And if they do up the top eyelet, they can't move, can't move. Pity, really pity. Someone's gotta do something about kid skates on the market today. There are all kinds of skates on the market today, regardless of price, that have the blade on the boot crooked. Watch. Christina, as you will find out, is just a super teacher, just after seven days at her last year's hockey school in Grand Prairie. She goes eyeball to eyeball with the student and makes it work. And we're just gonna step over. As Rory comes towards you, watch the skate and boot closest to you. How it breaks down to the outside. The left leg boot is fine, but the other one is going to cause problems. Look at the twist as he steps over. Awesome! This skate goes awesome, straight Taylor. down, goes straight up from the blade, you just, all the way up to the back of the boot. Nice and slow over, over to this one, okay. you follow this blade straight up. The boot should be over here. So this comes up now and turns. And your feet pointing forward. What happened is when they made the skate, they pulled this part in here in too tight, stapled it the uh, uh, sole to the boot, and that turned this part here. And this manufacturer is not the only guy at fault, they all do it. And what happens is because these big manufacturers now the quality control is not what it should be. And that's the problem. You wouldn't believe it could be that much out, would you? Michael from Whistler, BC is the next best skater in the hockey camp. Watch the boot closest to you break down. Same as Rory's, but he's bigger and stronger and his fault could cause problems. Like here, it's backwards. Inside, outside, inside edge to develop power. Watch the skate crumble. Here, we'll do it again for you, this time in slow motion. Look at the skate because the blade is on the boot crooked. Gotta have great balance to stay on your feet there. Short little baby step. This is Mike with Jordan, Mitch, and Rory doing crossovers on the blue line with another iffy skate. Jordan's right foot. 
it's hard enough acquiring balance on skates when both of them work right. Too many crickets, it's pretty tough when one doesn't. Come on, come here. You're bent over like a pretzel. You're bending your tummy. Now, stand tall. That's it. Now, just bend your knees. That's it. Now, walk with me. Come on, one foot over the other. One foot over the other. What about this skate, folks? If that blade isn't on that boot cricket, I'm a monkey's uncle. How do you expect a big strong man like that to perform? You got boots with the blades on cricket. That's not the big problem. The other problem is there's so much support in the ankle area, the poor little guy can't lace them up together to get the overabundance of support that's there. Here, we'll show you. Brandon, you got your feet that wide apart. There's no way in the world you can develop power. You have to get the feet together. Now get both your feet together, all the weight on the right foot, and now stay still. Stay, get your feet together, Brandon. Together. Watch. Look at here. Look at here. Don't look at your feet. They'll be there when you're done. Brandon, all you do, get your weight on one foot, turn the toe in, and push. But keep your feet together. You got to get them together, Brandon. And keep them together. Keep them together. All your weight on that left leg. That's it. Now come on. Keep them together. Still here, guys. Go backwards. Okay. Push with the toe. Foot closest to those boards. Okay, there you got toe in. Hey. Look at the extension I get. Watch the power. Watch the length. I can cut, I would say, 12 to 14 inches out there, I'm developing power. Because I can turn that in, that's got all my weight on it. Look at there. I develop power from there to there. Only one reason. You got it? Yeah. Look, that blade that's there. Under. Bring them together. Under. The leg that's on the ice supports your weight. Right? Piece of cake? Piece of cake? That's better. Try it. There's at least a dozen guys out here. Okay. Where their skates laced up. Loose as a goose. And the bottom laces are tight. So you guys in the rooms, make sure that the just the top three islands are tight. That's all. I just did a little exercise with the kid there. He couldn't keep his feet like that to save his life. His feet are like in a pair of gold iron waders. No support. $200 skates, no support. Because he doesn't know how to lace them up. Okay, here's the problem we have with skates these days. This kid, these skates are too stiff for him. He can't pull the laces tight to give him ankle support. If he pulls the laces too tight, he's going to get in here what we call lace bite, which it damages the tendons in the ankle area and makes them very sore. That skate is really stiff, there's no give to it, there's way too much support in it, and they expect him to wear these things and play hockey with them. Okay? We'll take them off, take that skate off now.